I'm Father Leo Hausman, the Vicar General of the Diocese of Rapid City and pastor of the churches in Leed and Deadwood. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, on earth, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Will. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you, you take away the sins of the world, the world have, have mercy on us. us. You, you take, take away the sins of the world, the world receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, to, Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today, if today you, you hear, hear his voice, voice Harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your heart as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If, if today, today you hear his voice, harden not, not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law, the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, 
You shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. A common theme that runs through the first reading of the prophet Ezekiel and the gospel, this fraternal correction of our brothers and sisters in the Lord. The New Testament reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans reminds us that Love is the foundation upon which is built all of God's commandments and God's law. Of course, this foundation of love is the basis, as the basis of God's law and commandments, would include correction of our brothers and sisters when appropriate and needed. In today's first reading, the Lord God defines the role of an Old Testament prophet Ezekiel, approximately 600 years before the birth of Christ, the powerful Babylonians invaded the tiny country of Judah where the Jews lived and their capital city, Jerusalem. The Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar, took Ezekiel and many other Jews to Babylon in 597 BC. Yahweh, the God of the Jews, addressed Ezekiel, who is now living with many of his fellow countrymen in slavery in Babylon, saying, You, son of man, I have appointed you watchman for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. Like a watchman, the prophet exists only for the good of others. In this case, those deported with him to Babylon. He is to give them God's word to challenge them and to correct them from time to time so that if they, if they should go wrong, the responsibility would be theirs. Here, Ezekiel gets straightforward orders from Yahweh, assigning responsibility to him with no ifs or ands or buts, tolerated. 
But God charges Ezekiel with the responsibility of remaining faithful to his prophetic mission, confronting the wicked with their own wickedness as the Lord God instructs him. If Ezekiel should refrain from speaking God's word intended to convert the wicked, God will hold Ezekiel responsible for the spiritual death of the wicked. In today's gospel, Jesus calls the church to the same responsibility for confronting the sinful. As Ezekiel is appointed watchman over the house of Israel in today's first reading, so Jesus in the gospel establishes his disciples as guardians of the new Israel of God, the church. Oftentimes people don't take responsibility for what happens in the society. But the truth is that, that we bear some responsibility for our society. As Christians, we are all God's prophets, God's representatives, God's watchmen, set on elevated places to give warning of approaching danger to our brothers and sisters. The prophets of all times have a grave responsibility for their people's salvation. None of us can retire from the task of being watchmen. This would include speaking out against laws and policies in government that violate human dignity according to how God created us and violation of God given human rights, including the right to life from conception to natural death. But all of this has to be done in the context of love. As the letter of St. Paul to the Romans stated, love does no evil to the neighbor. In a little church in a small village, an altar boy serving the priest at Sunday mass accidentally dropped the cruet of wine. The village priest struck the altar boy sharply on the tree cheek and in a gruff voice shouted, leave the altar and don't come back. That boy became Tito, the communist leader. In the cathedral of a large city in another place, another altar boy serving the bishop at Sunday mass also accidentally dropped the cruet of wine. With a warm twinkle in his eyes, the bishop gently whispered, someday you will be a priest. That boy was vulnerable Archbishop Fulton Sheen. Though the altar boys in those stories may have been careless or not, how we react and treat people is as important as whether we do or do not live up to our obligation of fraternal correction. Correction must always be done with loving concern for the one being corrected. And finally, I would add that prayer and discernment guided by the Holy Spirit are most essential. The prophet Ezekiel was guided by the Holy Spirit to where God wanted him to speak out and what God wanted him to say. We need to do that same discernment. If we speak and act where we are not directed by God, we can do more harm than good. And if when we speak needs to, if and when we speak needs to be guided by the Holy Spirit, otherwise we are not a true prophet or a watchman. Let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our, For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and was buried, and, and rose again on the third day, in, day in accordance with the scriptures. scriptures. He, ascended he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He, he will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. We now bring our petitions to the Father who answers our every prayer. For the church, that we may be a community that continues Christ's mission of evangelizing and reconciling those who are estranged. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of the diocese, that the Spirit will open our minds and hearts to hear what others say and to be attentive to the word of God spoken deep within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For educational leaders, that God will give them wisdom and insight in providing safe and productive environments for students and staff during the school year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all involved in the formation of youth, that God will inspire their words and deeds and help them to lead young people to a deeper relationship with Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are ill, that God's healing love will strengthen them, remove their pain, and restore them to wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have died and those who are grieving them, that God will give eternal life to all who have died and comfort those who are grieving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, from you every good thing comes. We ask you to bless, to bless us with these things and all that we need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good, good and, and the good of all his holy church. church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself 
that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the the power, power, and the glory glory are yours now now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, my peace I leave you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you you take take away away the sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you you take take away away the sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you you take take away the sins of the world. world. Grant Grant us us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy, not worthy that, that you should enter under my, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. And they'll know.